fashion will always be fashion at the Copa. They fell in love. Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Holly. And this is the space between. Vacation every single day because I love my occupation. Hey, I'm on vacation every single day, every, every single day. Everybody sour like a lemon tree. I'm just smiling down upon my enemies. Do the shit and love it on a daily. Say you hate your job, but you'll never leave. Never leave, but that ain't gonna be me. That ain't gonna be me. My brother called me upset. He saw me on TV. Oh, this is pretty. All right, so tell me your favorite features, Ian. The um, cockpits are down low. The helm stations are down low, right? So that you can hang out with all your friends. It's a good size, open, airy, so you can see everything. Right? Wow, I like the big windows up front. Yeah, it's huge. Wait, let me do a pano. God. <laughs> no, nobody's got beers on board. I love the big giant I windows. I love this. Yeah. So you don't big feel disconnected. Right. But there's like yeah. a big door that you can. But you know what I do like? I like how it has the bench comes this way and then out because I feel like you're closer together when you're hanging out instead of the chairs. From, where did you come from? Hey, I love where we're still from? We picked up the boat in France uh, a couple days after Christmas. It was our Christmas present. Cool. <laughs> Very good. So this is your boat? Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. We live aboard the boat full time, and so we sail it. We use it every day. We know in and out. And it's a perfect boat for couples that want to be able to go anywhere. And how long did it take you to get here? Uh, from south of France on the Mediterranean side to Canary Islands, it took nine days. Nine days. And then we ran around Canary Islands, <laughs> of course. Cool. And then Canaries to BBI was 21 days. But that was with like barely any wind for the majority yeah. of the trip. It's fine because it was beautiful, right? Glorious. She was saying earlier she likes being at sea the best because she gets to do nothing, right? <laughs> exactly. There's nothing to do. The grocery store. Yep. So is there anything that you would change about this boat? Like if you, have you had a boat before this? This is our fifth boat. Your fifth boat, okay. Wow. So comparatively speaking, would there be something that you would bring Honestly. from another boat onto this boat or is this boat like the perfect Honestly, thing? Honestly, no, uh, because uh, from a sailing standpoint, there's nothing that we would change. I mean, it would be tiny things like a, a I'm adding another big tabletop so for Thanksgiving and Christmas we can entertain all of our family. Cool. Um, or one option in the guest cabin, uh, katanas are semi-custom. So if you want to have convertible beds, twin to king size, you can do that. If you want to have a queen size island bed, you can do that. So in hindsight, I would have liked another queen size island bed there with those big beautiful right. drawers underneath. So we're talking small, little, right. little things. Yeah but nothing substantial. But they're semi-custom, so we made this boat exactly what we wanted it to be. Okay. They're pretty high freeboard. Yes. Really high freeboard. Yeah. Because so I have you ever had, like gotten in, because I'm seeing these windows, I mean, they look like they obviously yeah. close in deep seas, but you've never like taken a wave over the bow and gotten any. Yeah, and so the windows are watertight. That's a big accomplishment yeah, to have such large windows right. that are watertight. And that, that open, that yeah. Open? So we've had uh, designers from many other catamarans coming here and checking out our windows to see how they accomplish that. So it's a big, big thing. That's really when cool. When you're sailing, you have it open, it's so nice because yeah. being in here, you feel like you're outside. Right. When you're sailing, you, you want to feel like you're what outside. What do you guys do for work? So uh, we do have one other business, which we yeah. are able to be semi-retired from at this cool. point, but we're also now the USA brokers for Katana. So. Yeah. So we still work some. Work is way overrated. How can you be retired in your age? You're so lucky. I know, right? Oh my gosh. Work is way overrated, yeah. as we all know. Look at the Taurus boat. Oh, there's none on the line because they're not here today. And it's a nice one. Laura. That's the one that the one that I, that was originally supposed to come with us. Uh huh. I want you to know. Oh. I'll be your first customer. Damn those lobster pies. <laughs> yeah. So you don't have them for outdoors? Not yet. Lobster? No, not yet. Oh, sale. Sale drive. Sale drive. Sale drive.
No, neither. They, they don't have the clearance space, unfortunately. It's the number one question we get asked at boat show, so it's something we're trying to develop. So we're here with Thomas and Brenda. Yeah, yes. and we ended up with the Leopard 44. Awesome. We bought and it in Belize, and we've sailed it up. It's in St. Petersburg presently, where we're outfitting. We'll be in Marathon in two more weeks. Uh, Alex at SeaTex is putting our solar on. Awesome. And then we're going to Bimini, the Jumas, and down to Grenada by July. Wow. So, there you go. Us. All right. So my husband is currently purchasing a Sea Angel. I'm sorry. Did you not want to be on video? Um, guess one of these. It hooks two. Holy cow, ladies and gentlemen. What an awesome evening here. This is... <laughs> Where's Bridget? Here we are. Yeah, where's Bridget? We're at the Leopard Owner's Party. And let me... Let's wait, get wait, a... Wait, wait, wait. Let's pan it. Let's wait, get a quick pan out. Quick pan out. Miley short pan out. And I want to get you to... I want to get you to come with me. Just nice. So, if you can look back behind me, folks, what an opportunity this is here at the Miami Boat Show with sailing the space between. This is the greatest thing a guy can do. I'm telling you, the finest boats, these yachts are amazing. And this is the same yacht that you'll get to ride on the sailing space between. They've got one of these leopards themselves. And man, is it sweet. These are all brand new ones. They're amazing. They're right here for you to come by. You need to come check this out. But don't don't just go buy it, Brad. Hop on Scott and Holly's boat and go for a ride. Check it out, see what you like, and then you'll absolutely love this stuff. So, and put it on your bucket list for next year. Miami International Boat Show, Miami, Florida, and be sure and book your time with Scott and Holly on Sailing the Space Between, because that's the only way to come to the boat show. Come on. Yeah. And to top it all off, here we are. Check out all the ways behind me in the boat racks. All you got to do, if you want one of these boats, is say it's like a slot machine. You put your money in and the boats come right down. You put five bucks in the machine and you get whatever comes out. You could get a, a like a little pontoon boat or a really nice big boat or whatever. But this is the coolest game ever. So come to Miami, play this game with us. You just put your money in right down here and the, a boat will come out the bottom and you never know what you're going to get, but sometimes they're a lot of fun. So come see this place. It's amazing. All right. You have any famous last words? Okay. Wish me luck. This is when you say I love you. Well, the water looks pretty. Yeah, the water looks beautiful here. You signed the waiver, right, Ian? This picture I got. Is it cold? What should you give it to me? There's yeah. no ladder up. Well, I don't need no a ladder, 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 but. Refreshing? The water's or cold awesome. As fuck. The water's awesome. Nothing better than going to sleep in two foot seas and waking up to this. And thanks to Freebie, we got a ride from the dinghy dock back to the show. One last manufacturer to go see before we wrap things up and head home. What do you think? The only thing that's missing is my seat right here. I bet you Scott can fix that. I was going to say. This really is a neat looking It really is for 44. It seems enormous. Yes, it does. The freeboard on it is huge. I like the solid rails all the way around. Mm -hmm. I do too. Glass. Lots of view. Lots of view. Up. I said I have a Leopard 46. Okay. And uh, I play fridge Jenga every day. Do you really? Yeah, because it's a ridiculously small fridge. Yeah. Did you see the potential? This is amazing. This is. Oh, wow. so this, this is a sweet. Uh, wow. The, this is the largest saloon I've ever seen. Yeah. 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 Different. Yeah, check this out, girls. This is quite the. It's still big. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Much easier to make the bed in here than in my. Wow. Well, yeah. That's gonna have to go. Yeah. I'd want the other toilet. Mm -hmm. This is a pump one too. Yeah, I don't like that. That's a nice big shower. 
nice uh, handles and everything. Oh, that is nice. And those are two twin beds that are put That's, together. Yeah. Oh, there's a V bar thing that you hook them together yeah. with right yeah. there. Okay. I gotcha. So, I mean, it's. You gotta go check that out. Let's okay. check it out, Carol. Wow. So, did you have more questions? Did you take the book right there? I want to go up there and have it. See if it was me? I'm the. Storage up. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mine as well. You can do shelves or whatever. Mm -hmm. <gasps> wow. This is a huge room. Oh, Carol. I have a coffee mug that says that in the same font and everything. This is amazing. Wow. Good size closet. Yeah. With the bar running the right way. Yes. <laughs> This is amazing. Oh, his and hers closets. Oh my god. And there's, I mean, it's still four cabin because there's that one up, up there. Uh -huh. This is crazy. This is my favorite so far. Oh, and a semi real toilet. <laughs> they put the cheap toilets in the other room, right? But it is only two baths, right? No, there was three. There three? Mm -hmm. So four bed, three bath. And oh, this one's giant. a bench. Check this out. Come in here. <laughs> Let's go into the shower together, Carol. <gasps> There's room enough for two people in the shower. Oh my God. That's amazing. All right. We okay. are currently hanging out in the shower together at the door yeah, closed and we can, we're not even wow, touching. check out. You got a rain, you got two, a handheld and a rain head. <gasps> this is awesome. All right, I think this moved up to my favorite. Yeah. 1.3, he said. Yeah. What, what was what was the 51? The 51 was uh, 879. Oh, 879, right? Yeah. And it's a bigger boat, yeah. but it, this feels bigger than the other one, yeah. by far. We're gonna get a picture of that. What? I have never seen. Look at the space. Oh, wow. Scott, Scott would freak out. Yeah. Hey, what is the beam? Good, good question. Let me. <laughs> this is an amazing boat. Yeah, we we let's just say you don't want to be going there when you're trying to dive. There's no real big area to keep everybody in. Oh. Yeah. I mean. Not too shabby. Not shabby at that, all. that master bedroom and that refrigerator are my wouldn't favorite this be, parts. Wouldn't this be nice to have? This would be beautiful. And if you get it up on Lake Texoma or something, you'd be like, <laughs> oh my God. you'd be the yeah. big baller up there. Oh, you'd, be the, you'd, be the man. you'd be the man for sure. It's like, uh, Look at the, the, the roof comes over your, like the sunroof. Yeah, skylight. There's a sunroof. Oh my gosh. What do you think, Randy? You ready? You want one? I like it. I like it. I, I'm really torn now. They, they're doing this, or they're doing the, uh, but they're doing the new 40 as well. We have our 40 will be delivered in September. So we are here with Carol and Randy, and we have found what could possibly be. This could be it. This could be the boat that we go for. And because I'm in love with this deal, this 51 foot power catamaran, catamaran, catamaran by a leopard is an amazing vessel. And, and look at the space and the size. Some of the great, one of the great things I really like about this boat is the flybridge. It's enormous. We could put 16 people up there and have a big old party. Down below, oh my gosh, you can serve a lot of dinner down here. It would be fabulous for everybody. I mean, this boat is the creme de la creme for me. Uh, granted, it's missing sails, but it's still a great boat. So, uh, and besides, we don't need a sailboat. We've got sailing the space between. So, when that's what you people need to remember is, be sure and stitch your time schedule with Scott and Holly on sailing the space between, and come out and see these boats. But it's amazing. And another great boat show in the sail bag. Miami boat show was great. We had a fun time, met a whole bunch of uh, awesome people. 
but uh, I think the wind's going to come up, going to get a little tailwind, put up the whopper, and head on home. It is a fine Sunday morning here on the Space Between, and we are leaving Miami. Calm seas, light winds, great company. Hot coffee. And hot coffee. Thank you to the Miami Boat Show for a fun time. We look forward to it next year. And don't forget to like and subscribe and book on the space between. <laughs> Excellent exit shot. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and don't forget to join us next time. We get a special guest on board, and I promise you won't be disappointed.